Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Gunpowder and Freedom. So it's a pretty terrible Sunday, uh, it's been raining all morning, I uh, didn't really think I was going to be able to do anything today, which, you know, sometimes you just need those days, um, but these Sundays are becoming more and more frequent, which is telling me that summer could potentially be winding down, but it's Pennsylvania, so never really be too sure you know tomorrow could be 95 degrees and Tuesday we could get three inches of snow so who knows not me and certainly not the weathermen um, anyways uh, with summer winding down I kind of got to look back and reflect on on all the work I got done this year and uh, you know on, on top of getting all the work done over at the property I did get a chance to go over and film some firearm videos Quite a few of them actually so uh, thank you Rachel um, but no I mean I I had a pretty great summer got a lot of work done both for my dad for myself and uh, you know got to fire a bunch of guns which was always fun um, but you know doesn't change the fact that we are kind of losing this nicer weather you know we're gonna be transitioning into fall here temperatures are gonna be dropping it's gonna be you know getting colder Whatever. We'll cross that bridge when it comes. But on top of all that, this channel has grown more than I actually could have ever hoped for. So, you know, thank you to everybody who's tuned in to any of my videos or click the like and subscribe. Speaking of that, don't forget to click the like and subscribe. Um, but yeah, so thank you to everybody that's been supporting this channel and uh, helping helping to make it grow. So back to today. With it being kind of a rainy, wet, crappy morning out, uh, the rain did stop. And, uh, you know, just having one of those off mornings where trouble getting moving. You know, just wanted to kind of sit back and watch Game of Thrones and get ready for the season premiere of House of Dragon tonight. Uh, you know, just really not motivated. And uh, that's when, you know, good friends, good friends are hard to come by. They'll, they'll text you, they'll call you, check in on you, see how you're feeling, how you're doing. Uh, but great friends gonna call you up and say hey let's go shoot some stuff yeah absolutely so uh, good friend of mine Josh you've met him in a few videos uh, he called me up this morning and said hey uh, you know I got my daughter Isabella with me I got some guns I need to sight in I want to shoot some stuff you want to go up to the range and, and send some lead I said, absolutely man so grab the cameras grab some guns and uh, we're headed up there to meet those two now and uh, introduce you to Izzy so we'll see you guys up there. Okay, so you guys remember Josh. Hey. Josh, you want to introduce us to uh, our little helper here? Yeah, this is uh, my daughter, Isabella. It's her first time on the range. So, uh, oh yeah. Trying to raise them right, you know? Start them early. Start them early, get her familiar. We actually have some, um, some earmuffs for her, and some ballistic goggles. Nice. Very good. Yeah. It's I heard some idiot was up here shooting a target way too close with an AR and caught some ricochet. Who's that? Ah, ah some <laughs> idiot. <laughs> it happens. It does. Well, that's good. Safety, safety is a must here. Yeah. So ear protection, eye protection. Teach them the right way, young. Mm-hmm. What's up, busy? How are you, huh? Get these on. <laughs> Those are cool goggles, Izzy. Hey. There you go. You ready for the field, huh? <laughs> Josh also donated this nice heavy duty table for us for our 100 yard mark here. Uh, as you can see, we have it OSHA approved, supported with a big rock. We'll have to. Uh, flatten this out one of these days and elevate this a little bit so we can get it real nice all right Josh so tell us about this one you brought uh, so this is a 17 inch HMR it's a Marlin um, 
It was the first rifle my father bought for me when I turned 12. Uh, killed a lot of groundhogs with it, probably like over 200 groundhogs with it but at least. I used to come home from school and just go out into the field and shoot as many groundhogs as I could. So uh, this is a, you know, it's a lot of sentimental value to it. And um, I just love this rifle. It's a, it's a great little rifle. I put a uh, Vortex Crossfire 2 4 to 12 by 40 on it. Um, and uh, I just set the scope and leveled it, so I had to sight it back in. But uh, it's a tack driver, man. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to send some rounds downrange. Let's do it. All right. Pretty sure I'm in the bull, but... Well, I didn't make my adjustment anyways. Probably right on the same spot. Looking pretty good. It will do for now. <laughs> okay, so we got Josh's 17 HMR sighted in uh, pretty good. I think he was like a quarter inch below the bullseye, but was that user error or was that? Yeah, I, I, um, I'm sitting a little low on here and it's hard to really get a solid dead rest on it. Yeah. Um, so we just need to raise this table up. Whenever we get the supplies to do it, so. but for now it'll do the trick. So now we're going to jump over to my BM9 Brigade Manufacturing nine millimeter. Uh, I had to recite in my red dot. It's uh, getting a little wonky on me, so we're going to. Uh, don't worry, it's not chambered. Safety's on. Uh, we're going to get this recited in, and uh, yeah, get it going. Izzy's having a ton of fun. Out. <laughs> Fire in the hole. Yeah, I mean, you're an inch low, it looks like, but your barrel's hot. Yeah. I mean, you're going to start, you're going to start seeing your groups open up. Okay. I would, I would give it, you know, cool down shine, we'll shoot another one and then bring it back and dial it in. All right. That's one thing about firearms is your, I mean, your groups will open up after your barrel gets hot. I mean, that the makes sense. The first shot on a cold barrel is the most accurate one. Okay. Yeah. I don't know, it's hard to argue. Some people say that the third shot is because your barrel's up the temperature. I think the first shot's the most accurate one out of the barrel, but... Okay. I mean, it, it makes sense. Yeah. Steel expands, you're losing that kind of compression on the bullet. Yeah. So, makes sense. Yeah. I don't know what headphones those are, but I need to get Eleanor some. Still sick, okay. Shoot your 325. <laughs> <laughs> you might need to force it. Okay. Actually, no, I did force it already. You did? I did. Okay. This doesn't wait, bro. I don't know what Okay, so my Brigade BM9 has been recited in. Uh, might be off an inch or so, but at 100 yards of the 9mm, definitely accepted. 
Isabella's still sleeping. Those headphones are kicking ass. And uh, now we're gonna see if the, the 357. Uh, it's a 325 WSM. 325. See if she can sleep through that. So this is the, the 325 WSM. It's an eight millimeter bullet. This is a 200 grain bullet. Um, it's a nozzle rack bond. Uh, this is a Winchester model 70 featherweight. I put a um, Leopold VX3 on here. Uh, it's a great rifle. Killed a lot of deer with it so far. I bought this three years ago. Um, it's a heavy hitter, that's for sure. So. I think I'm post in the bottom of the, the support. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever headphones those are, I have to get them growing on. Walkers, gamers. Walkers. Walker? Walkers. Walkers. You guys make awesome headphones. This square silhouette on the bottom. Okay, so I think we put about uh, 20 or so rounds through my AR9. Josh just let loose four rounds on his, was it 325? Why can't I remember that? And Izzy is still fast asleep. Walkers, you guys make some awesome headphones. All right guys, so that's gonna do it. Uh, Josh got a few of his firearms sighted back in. Uh, I got my AR9 sighted back in at 100 yards, so am I ever realistically gonna use that AR9 at 100 yards? Probably not, but now I know it, you know, it's there if I need it, so. Uh, I had that. Josh, which ones did you have? I had um, the 17 HMR, the 325 WSM, um, and then I got those both sighted in, and then we used the 12 gauge for the pillow uh, demonstration. So. If you guys missed that video, you can check it out here. But yeah, so all in all, a good day. Uh, really happy that Josh gave me that phone call and said, hey, let's go shoot some stuff. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty solid wrap to an otherwise crappy Monday morning. Absolutely. So. Beautiful day to be in America. That's it. Love it. So want to thank you guys for tuning back in to another episode of Gunpowder and Freedom. If you liked what you saw, please click the like and subscribe. Don't forget to like us on Instagram, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.